Firefox can be used on the Librem 5. For the moment, you'll need to edit a desktop file for it to launch correctly. With that done, you'll be able to take advantage of desktop level browsing while on the go. Key input now works correctly using the default keyboard. Browsing websites in Portrait does work. You can use Pinch to Zoom to get the most out of the small viewing space. Smooth zooming is not implemented. Instead, this acts more like a mouse wheel, changing the zoom a chunk at a time. Scrolling through pages is smooth and works really well. You can reset to the default zoom by hitting this button. Loading heavy websites like YouTube can take a bit of time. Aside from the initial load, it performs beautifully. And let's not forget this is Firefox. You have access to the full set of Firefox settings. With the preferences unusable in Portrait, it's time to switch to Landscape. Not bad. Let's switch to Full Screen. Now this feels right. Settings in Landscape while in Full Screen works perfectly. Using Firefox like this, you can easily install a new plugin or change the theme. Looks good. Full screen portrait works really well for most websites, which makes this a very useful tool for anything that isn't optimized for mobile. When it comes to an optimized mobile experience, the default browser, GNOME Web, is also seeing some improvements. Out of the box, it offers a touch-friendly control scheme. It also renders sites in a way that is readable in landscape. You can get a significant speed boost by disabling ad blocking. While that's not an ideal default, it will help the browser start up faster. We do have an open bug against this, and you can follow the progress by clicking the link below. The Librem 5 is available for pre-order now. Head on over to puri.sm to get in line.